Hi, I'm Brad Leyland, CEO of The Focus Group. And today I want to tell you the story of the Covenant Theological Seminary campaign. Actually, I want to tell you the story of the three campaigns that The Focus Group has been honored to help Covenant Seminary with. You know, this most recent campaign was called the Hope for the Future campaign. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that a little later. We just finished it and it is so exciting. But before I talk about the campaign that they just finished, I'd like to tell you a little history of the focus group's work with Covenant Theological Seminary. Back in 1996, we helped Covenant Theological Seminary launch the Jewel of Grace Fire for Ministry campaign. It was very successful and raised $14 million. One of the distinctives about that campaign is that it was during that season that we developed what we now have all of our clients use called the Executive Campaign Committee. Basically, they had a donor. The family had been historically the largest donor to the seminary. And during the feasibility study, the donor said, I'd love to give money, but I'm tired of being on those typical campaign committees. At the time, the person interviewing him that worked for the focus group, he said, well, we really need your involvement. What if we formed an executive campaign committee that just met a few times per year and just helped with key relationships and helped us raise money with other people that could give large gifts like you? And this person said, no problem. I'd love to help. And so Ben Edwards agreed to be on our very first executive campaign committee. But anyways, it was in that first campaign from 1996 to 1999 that the concept of forming two campaign committees was formed, the Executive Campaign Committee and the Campaign Steering Committee meeting. So those two things now, all of our campaigns do it. So they finished that first campaign successfully, raising $14 million. They wrote their next strategic plan. They launched their next campaign in 2006. It was called the By His Grace, For His Glory campaign. It lasted three years and they raised $15 million. And now fast forward a few more years, they have a need for a third campaign and President Mark Dalby, Dr. Dalby, he helped them launch their third campaign, which is the Hope for the Future campaign, which we started in 2015 and we just finished right now in the midst of the pandemic. Now, I would just share some information about this campaign because it was so exciting to watch. The feasibility study was completed in September 2015, and then we launched the campaign in October 2015. Initially, we suggested that they launch a campaign for $15 million in cash and $25 million in estate gifts. What actually happened is over the next 47 months, they raised $19 million in cash and $23 million in estate gifts. So they actually exceeded the total that we had targeted for them. Now, as we look at a little deeper analysis of the campaign, that $19 million in cash some things that are really important to talk about. First of all, they had 100% of their board give. Their ECC, which remember Covenant Theological Seminary created, helped us create, their ECC gave about 15% of the money. So the, the ECC committee really worked. There was a total of 350 people that gave to the campaign, but the top 60 donors, we often say, give 90% or more of the goal, well, the top 60 donors that covenant gave 98% of the goal. The largest estate declaration was over $4 million. And there were 10 estate declarations of over a million, with the average estate gift being $577,000. The amazing thing is that when you look at the people that actually gave those top 60 gifts that gave 98% of the goal, 57 of the top 60 gifts were the, were the largest gifts that were ever given to the seminary. It's really remarkable. And 13 of the top 100 gifts were the first time gifts that they'd ever given to the seminary before. The bottom line is that this campaign was highly successful. Now, on the screen, you see the most impactful page from the case statement. And this is a page that shows the impact of one graduate. You know, when we launch campaigns, it's often about outcomes and what's going to be the long-term impact after the money is raised. At Covenant Theological Seminary, the short-term impact is that we're going to graduate more people with theological degrees. But where do theologically trained people go? 
And what is the lifetime impact of a theologically trained person that graduates from covenant? Well, that's what this picture is on your screen. It shows that each graduate would have the impact of touching over a million people in their lifetime. And so outcomes that are proven are very fundable. And I believe that's one of the reasons that they exceeded their goal by so much. And so just to remind you, they exceeded their goal by over $2 million and they did great. And it was their third campaign. And so now I can tell you friends that we've been honored to help Covenant Theological Seminary complete three campaigns where they've raised over $71 million. So way to go Covenant Theological Seminary. Thank you for helping us develop the Executive Campaign Committee. And we look forward to the fourth campaign sometime in the future. God bless.